Well, hello again there, TCG fam. Welcome back to another Two Girls One Up ASMR video featuring one of our most popular, the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Oh, so exciting. And in this instance, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary with the Rarity Collection number two. Yes, highly anticipated rarity collection number two here and so excited to open it. I'm happy to report that we will most likely have another rarity collection video coming your way later on down the line as we're still waiting for our first shipment. This one we bought from our local LGS and uh, waiting for the others to come. So really looking forward to the multitude of Rarity Collection 2 that will be coming our way. Before we do get started though, I have a little explanation. I know on our community posts on our Twitter, we promised you a video talking about this, the Atlanta Lorcana Challenge. This is just one of our competitor badges here. And yes, it was so much fun. But Sakti and I both want to tell you about our experiences, kind of talk about the highs, the lows, and let you know about our criticisms as well as our praises here for PPG and Ravensburger on the first ever challenge in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, that will be coming at a later date biggest reason is because we both got pretty sick coming home from the challenge. No big surprise, we didn't necessarily wear masks while at the challenge, and when you cram 2,000 plus people into a room for, what, 15 hours, there's that chance that somebody might have a little bit of a bug. I'm feeling better, but Sakti is still down with the bug, so we haven't, we haven't had a chance to get together to really sit down and talk about our experiences there. But I promise you, it will be coming. We'll talk about our decks, we'll talk about our format, we'll talk again about some highlights when it comes to our game, and of course let you know how well we did and the prizes that came with it. So that is just my little PSA before we get started with this Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection 2 box. It is of course the English edition, the first edition, and oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. So excited to dig in. We of course have Exodia here, and our Red Eyes Black Dragon, our Blue Eyes here, and Kaiba. And because this only has 18 packs, this is looking to be a little bit of a shorter video, so I grabbed a few of these. We can open some more at the end of this video and add to our little minifigure collection. All right, with all those announcements out of the way, I'd say let's get to it, my friends, TCG fam. Pulling out the dual discs, it's time to d -d 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 duel. Chopper will be our opponent <laughs> for today's video. Maybe not our opponent, but definitely our ally as he helps us open up the box. Throw that to the side here. All right, and here it is in all its glory. It's interesting, maybe I'm just new to this, but it has been, I don't think I've ever opened a Yu-Gi-Oh box that's been in this shape before. So very excited about that. And of course, just it being the rarity collection is super cool. So as I mentioned, there's 18 packs here in this box, and each pack comes with 9 cards. And if it's anything like Rarity Collection 1, they should all be foil cards. Ooh. Well, that's convenient. Very nice. Easy to open. And there's our packs. Oh, how fun. All right, so we'll pull one out, move that back so the flap isn't in your way, and just take a peek at the pack itself. Looks just like the box, nothing too special, but I do love the detailed artwork that's back here. You'll probably notice that I'm not whispering for today's video. One of the reasons is because I am still getting over that little bug, that cold that Sakti and I have, 
and whispering just hurts a little bit in the throat. <laughs> so without further ado, I say we crack this open and get started with, there we go, <laughs> get started here. We're not going to dive into the shadow realm this time. Now let's do card games on motorcycles. Let's rev up our motorcycles here and get going. <laughs> First pack, always fun. All right, we are going to start with this Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess. Ooh, always nice to start with a Link monster, especially a beautiful one. Rescue Rabbit. Oh, look at that, he's so cute. He's even got the little walkie-talkie and his goggles. <laughs> That's next going to be a ritual monster. This is Saravis, the Ancient and Ascended. This, I believe, will be our first. I think it's the super rare. It's got the gold lettering here. Excellent. I'll throw that in a sleeve here at the end of the pack. This one will also have the gold lettering here, and this is Abomination's Prison. You add one unchained card from your deck to your hand. If this set card is destroyed by card effect, you can special summon one unchained monster from your deck. You can only use each effect of Abomination's Prison once per turn. Nice spell card there. Next will be Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Oh, wow. It's very hard to see some of the detail when the cards are so shiny, but I'm not going to complain. I love the shininess of the cards. <laughs> Dee Dee Crow. Oh, this has an interesting foiling to it. Maybe you can see it's kind of like the glaze foiling. I forget what this is called. If uh, you are a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, you definitely know that there is like 8 million different rarity types. So forgive me if I get anything wrong, but this Didi Crow, it's got like kind of a glass gloss effect on the bird itself. And then all around, it's just got this nice little like kind of textured foiling. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Very cool there. This is a wing beast and it has a quick effect. You can discard this card to the graveyard, then target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish that target. No graveyard shenanigans. All right, and then I think this is a secret rare, mind control. Target one monster your opponent controls until the end phase take control of that target, but it cannot declare an attack or be tributed. So it's almost like change of heart, but change of heart lets you do so many different things. This one, clearly you can't attack with it or retribute it. It's just kind of stalls the character, I guess. Oh man. And look at that. I think that's a 25th anniversary. What is it called? I totally forget the name of these rare cards. I feel terrible, but I'll take it. Another mind control here with that full on foiling going on. <laughs> A lot of different rare types here in this first pack. And we're going to get another uh, Aluber, the Jester of Despia. Okay, the big question how do I sort all of this out? <laughs> all right, well, first things first. We've got these, our perfect fits. Definitely want to put half these cards in here, and I feel like we'll be using quite a few of these throughout. That's what makes the rarity collection so much fun. They are expensive, but for a good reason. You can see this first pack came with so many different rarity types that even I just don't, I just don't know. I mean, look at that gloss. It's so cool on the DD Crow. Crow. 
And then of course these ones being a little bit more common. Again, I think they're called the super rares. With the gold lettering here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Good thing we have a lot of perfect fits. We were prepared. <laughs> I would say that was a pretty good first pack. All right. So once again, kind of some of the bigger hits, we got this really nice full on foil mind control. Then I think this is the secret rare mind control. And then I'm not sure exactly what this one is, but that glossy textured foil going on there. Very cool. So again, that was just pack number one here on this rarity collection. And I feel like I need to wash my hands after every pack roll just so I don't get them all oily. <laughs> Let's see what pack number two has for us, TCG fam. We will be starting off with Droll and Lockbird. That's a pretty cool looking card. That'll be followed by Charge of the Light Brigade. I've seen this card before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was this used in the show at any point? Send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Add one level four or lower Light Sworn monster from your deck to your hand. I swear I've seen that before. Oh, we got our little rescue rabbit with the gold lettering here. He's so cute. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. The Exo Sisters Magnifica. Wow, what a beautiful card. An XYZ in our first one. I always, always loved how the XYZs looked with the gold lettering. Just the black and the gold. So cool to me. Before we get to the trap tricks, we got a blue eyes spirit dragon. Wow. Oh. If you've been with us for a while, TCG fam, you know I am a blue eyes simp. And this, this is incredible. How beautiful, this blue eyes spirit dragon. Once again, with that bit of a glossy effect on the dragon itself, what a gorgeous synchro monster. One tuner plus one non-tuner blue eyes monster to create this gorgeous beast. Kaiba approves. <laughs> now we went to the trap tricks. The Raffalacia. I just, wow, we're on, oh, we're on pack two. <laughs> this is incredible. Some awesome pulls already. This is such a beautiful, beautiful box. And the Silent Swordsman will be next as our secret rare. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And then we will get a Droll and Lockbird secret rare. That's going to be followed by a Chaos Hunter. I always liked the art for Chaos Hunter. When your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can discard one card and special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot banish cards. That's not bad at all. Wow, some great cards here. Oof. I don't know if we'll have enough perfect fits now that I think about it. <laughs> I thought we had plenty. Now I'm not so sure. This is only pack number two. Definitely going to put the blue eyes in there, though. I think I may wait to put the secret rares and the ultra rares, or whatever they're called here, a little bit later on so it doesn't take up all the time in the video all right well like i said no wonder these uh are really sought after and there were so many people here on our channel so many of you tcg fam that were anticipating this rarity collection because oh my goodness this is so much fun <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, we will start with Soul and Luna here. Oh, that's a beautiful card. Beautiful. That will be... Uh, we'll go over to Silent Magician next. That will be followed here by Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Here's that textured foiling with a bit of that glossy effect. This is a zombie tuner monster. Hope you can get a good look at that textured foiling. Number 60, Dugaris the Timeless. XYZ monster. Access code talker. A cybers monster. Oh, there's Pearly. <laughs> now, wasn't this card banned at one point? I know that there was a deck built again, uh, around Pearly. Pearly. And I think the card was banned. Some of you more modern Yu-Gi-Oh players will have to answer that for me, but I don't care. It's cute and I love it. <laughs> Bingo Machine Go. I know we've opened this before on the channel. Maybe not in the secret rare form. Just the foiling is so cool. Oh, look at that cool polymerization. Classic card. You can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material. Such a good card and a classic. That's going to be followed by Ultimate Slayer. Too cool. Oh, this is such beautiful stuff, friends. I talk about a lot on our channel here how Bandai has such cool foiling, but man, Yu-Gi-Oh's got so many cool differences in the foiling, and although it makes it difficult to try to remember what kind of, you know, what are we looking at here? Are we looking at a ultra rare, a secret rare, a quarter century rare, a starlight rare? I have no idea, but that's just so cool, so cool to see some of this. Like I said, I've, I'll go through it a little bit later after the video here and just make sure that we've got the proper cards in sleeves. For the time being, I'm kind of just putting, you know, more of the interesting foils here. If we get another one of these, I believe this is the quarter century. And then, of course, these textured ones, which I have no idea what those are called. <laughs> Now, I say that, now if anybody has any kind of helpful guide, maybe like a picture guide or, or something that you follow that's been really helpful for you on the rarity types of Yu-Gi-Oh, please pass it our way. You can email it to us or just send it to us in a message on Twitter or even just here on our YouTube. Comment in the video a link to it or anything. It would be so very helpful to have a nice quick and easy guide that I can study so I'm not here fumbling and trying to remember what is what. <laughs> Cosmic Cyclone. This is going to be another classic. You pay 1,000 life points, then target one spell or trap card on the field, and you can banish it. Get it out of the way. Oh no. Oh no, there's a kitty. This one has a little whistle. Oh. All right, call it with me. Can we make a rescue deck? I would love that. <laughs> Here is a polarization, a uh, ultra rare, I believe, with the gold lettering. Oh, this is beautiful. The Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. A beautiful dragon synchro monster. Oops, keep doing that. Abyss Dweller. I think you can see on the camera more detail than I can actually see here in person on the Abyss Dweller. Yeah, that lighting makes it really nice and shiny for you. Very cool. Now the Pressured Planet Wraith Soth. I almost said Book of Mormon, but this is the Book of Moon, and what a gorgeous, 
gorgeous card. You target one face-up monster on the field and change that target to face-down defense position. It's difficult to see, but it does have that kind of hatched foiling that we see in the secret rares. Oh, that'll be followed by, oof, I think this is a quarter century. Or is this a starlight? I don't know, but it's amazing. And I can't read it. Is that Garura? Garura Wings of Reson Resonant Resonant Life? It's so shiny, my eyes. Oh, I think this is a 25th anniversary. Okay, I'm gonna try it, there it is. You see it on the camera? That 25th at the bottom there? I think this is a quarter century rare. Well, regardless of what it is, it's freaking incredible. Wow, God, Yu-Gi-Oh, like so, such beautiful cards. And then we'll have a Book of Eclipse. Again, not the Book of Mormon, the Book of Eclipse to go with our Book of Moon. All right, I think we're, what, four packs in and we've had some incredible pulls, just beautiful cards. I'm already calling it. I definitely recommend this rarity collection too. It's so cool. We'll start with a pressured planet, Wraith Soth. Another Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Foolish Burial, send one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Another Charge of the Light Brigade. This one's new, it looks like a Digimon. Rindbrum, the Striking Dragon. Once again, kind of get that textured foiling going on and a little bit of the glossiness on the sides. That'll be followed by Skill Drain. You activate this card by paying 1,000 life points. Negate the effect of all face-up monsters while they are face-up on the field, but their effects can still be activated. Hmm. Enemy Controller. I remember this one from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I used this quite a bit. It's more or less kind of like the mind control or very similar to change of heart, but you get to pick which one you want to do. It's cool. It's cool to see it like that. And then the cross out designator with the hatched foiling there. Very cool. That'll be followed by the trap tricks, Raffalicia. Nice. Once again, a great pack. Great cards here, for sure. We'll put the Digimon there in, <laughs> in a sleeve. All right, now we have at number 60, Dugaris the Timeless. We got him a little earlier on. Another polarization. We might as well get all the rarity types of polarization. <laughs> Exosister packs. <clears throat> These are cute, very cute drawings, the Exosisters. Whoa, red eyes, dark dragoon. Wow, that's beautiful. What a cool monster design. Wow. Hey. Twin Twisters. Destroy one card, then target up to two spell trap cards on the field and destroy them. I like the, the mystery hat there. The scapegoats over there. <laughs> Fusion Deployment. That just looks cool. Oh, and we've got another, uh, some sort of full-on rare. Again, I don't think this is, this may be a quarter century rare, and then the other one was a starlight. I'm not 100% sure, friends. I'm so sorry. But this one is really cool, and it's a preparation of rights. 
Add one level 7 or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Then you can add one ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. That'll be followed by TG Hyper Librarian. <laughs> A synchro monster with one tuner and one non-tuner monster to get that guy out. Whoa. Psychic and Punisher. Look at the art there. Oh, that's crazy cool. Crazy cool. Okay. I say we keep this train rolling. There is just so much fun to be had with this collection. So much fun. Oh, this is a different rescue cat. There's so many different rescue animals. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so cute. Oops. So cute. I tapped the camera with it. <laughs> Skill drain. The Book of Moon. Oh, there's a textured foil rescue kitten. Of course there had to be. <laughs> it's specifically for me, right? <laughs> Silent Magician with the gold lettering there. Guardian Chimera. Oh, gorgeous art there. Beautiful. Oof. And again, I think this is a... I, ugh, I'm going to have to look this up, friends. But we've got a very nice... Looks like a Starlight Rare. It's got the 25th right there, stamped in, of the Silent Swordsman. Ooh, what a cool one to get. Oh, love it. That'll be followed by Foolish Burial. And, ooh, this is new. Ryuko, the Light Sworn Hunter. Very nice. Cute. Okay. All right, so super stoked about these awesome, awesome card. I don't think it's a Starlight Rare, though. I think those ones are just a little too shiny, so maybe this is just the the QC Rare, the 25th Rare. Um, regardless, it's, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. <laughs> and we're not even halfway through the box yet. Oh my goodness. So here is D.D. Crow, just kind of in its normal foil stage. That's going to be followed up by Psy Frame Lord Omega. Next up is Magician's Souls. Oh, these are very cool. Very pretty card there. Then a, oh man, this is a long, okay, so this is a dragon. And this is the Hieractic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Now, I think we've pulled something like this before. Not so much the Link card, but like one of the balls, one of the spheres. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the Winged Dragon of Ra or something like that. <laughs> Soul and Luna. Cool, the Unchained Soul of Rage. That will be followed by a secret wear Skullmeister. No, thank you. I would not like to be a Skullmeister. <laughs> the Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Also a secret rare there. And we will get a Bingo Machine Go. Just a simple, nice foil. Okay. Roll on, roll on, TCG fam. about that hieractic seal of the heavenly spheres. We're going to start this pack with just that. That'll be followed by, okay, now we can read it. Garura Wings of Resonant Life. It's kind of nice to get these different cards and different rarity types, just in case one of them's a little too shiny to read. <laughs> Primeval Planet Parallelino. <laughs> 
Solemn Judgment. I think this is a classic card as well. Peaceful Planet Calarium. Ooh, the twin tis twisters in that kind of cool little glossy and then textured foil. Then we'll get a secret rare, Hierarctic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Ooh, that's really cool and secret rare. Whoa, goodness gracious. Okay, I think this is a, uh... oh man. There's two, like, I just, this one does not have the 25th seal on the bottom. So, you'll have to tell me, but this is so cool. It's the Borea, uh, Boreland Dragon here. And these cards are just so sick, friends. They are so, so beautiful. I know that it's not a Starlight Rare, because Starlight Rare will go even over this. And it'll be followed by a Foolish Burial. That and, as always, I didn't really do any research on the Rarity Collection before coming into the video. So, because, you know, it's always more fun to just come in blind than trying to expect something from the sets. And so far, I'm super stoked. But yeah, I'm not even sure if Rarity Collection has Starlight Rares. Um, I imagine because it is the Rarity Collection of the 25th anniversary, it will have quarter centuries and 25th rares. But <laughs> once again, I won't really know until after the video and when I start editing it here. We'll start with another primeval planet, Paralareno. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Coral Dragon, that's a new one here. Or Dragon Synchro Tuner Monster. <laughs> another Bingo Machine Go. <laughs> Ooh, there's that textured foiling for the Book of the Moon. Ah, oh, I love this card so much. The Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. It's so cool. Oh, so cool. <laughs> Psychic and Punisher. This is going to be a secret rare cosmic cyclone. That'll be followed up by Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Oh, that's beautiful as a secret rare. Oh, TCG fam, what do you think of this foiling? These cards are incredibly, incredibly beautiful. This has just been so much fun. And then XYZ Encore. I remember when we opened the first Rarity Collection here on our videos, on our channel, and that was so much fun, but I don't know, this has almost been even more fun. I love Rarity Collection too. It's been such a treat. All right, so what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at eight packs left, so we're a little over halfway. All right, we will start this new pack with access code Talker. Borland Dragon, and oh, these cards, so beautiful. Mystical Space Typhoon. Ugh, ugh, love this card. Target one spell trap card in the field and destroy that target. Classic, fantastic card. We will get another cross out designator. Another droll and lock bird. Just ultra rares here. A ultra rare enemy controller. These are great cards. Oof. And now we'll get a secret rare Borland Dragon. So cool. A secret rare Droll and Lockbird. This almost looks like maybe an alternate art or something. Let me go back a little bit. And they both have the same exact effect. So I think one of these, I'm guessing this one here, is an alternate art of the Droll and Lockbird. That's really cool. I forget sometimes that Yu-Gi-Oh! also does alternate arts. 
And this is solemn warning to finish off the pack. You know, just in case, I'm gonna throw this in a, in a sleeve. There we go. So, so many cards that need to be sleeved and you know, not a ton of sleeves left, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> we will get a mind control followed by the Rin Brum, the striking dragon, also known as the Digimon. <laughs> Another rescue rabbit, he's baby. So cute. TG Hyper Librarian with the gold lettering there. Another solemn warning. There's more pearlies. Ooh, and this is Pearly Pretty Memory. Oh, so cute. He's getting a little bubble bath. And you can see the secret rare foiling there. Oh, this is cool. Charge of the Light Brigade secret rare. There's something very cool about this card. It's like kind of got that minimalist feel to it. And that's super cool. And we will finish up this pack with Psychic and Punisher. Wow, just beautiful. In my opinion, all of these cards deserve a sleeve, but just because we don't have enough, we'll, we'll get to that. Guardian Chimera, Solemn Strike, Preparation of Rites, another Solemn Strike, I can read this one, when a monster or monsters would be special summoned or a monster effect is activated, pay 1,500 life points and negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Ooh, this one's new. The Masquerade, the Br Blazing Dragon. We hadn't seen this one before, this beautiful Fiend Fusion monster. This one's also new. My friend Pearly. <laughs> so cute. Here's another Abyss Dweller. Oh, I didn't even realize this was a secret rare until I looked over at the camera. Once again, friends, you're getting a better look than I am here in real life at the Abyss Dweller Secret Rare. There's something really cool about that. It's kind of mysterious. It's neat. And this will be a Secret Rare Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. That's going to be, ooh, followed by Forbidden Lance. I haven't seen this card in a while. Target one face-up monster on the field. Until the end of this turn, that target loses 800 attack, but is unaffected by the effects of other spells and traps. All right, what are we down to? Five more packs? Two, three, four, five. It's just so much fun. This video, <clears throat> pardon me, this video ended up being a little longer than I thought, but that's just because I've been ooing and eyeing at all of these beautiful cards. All right, we will get another Mystical Space Typhoon. Pot of Duality. <laughs> the pot of greed on the back there. <laughs> There's another Primeval Planet, Paralareno. And here we have one of those textured kind of gloss foils, super nimble mega hamster. Excuse me, what? Super nimble mega hamster. <laughs> it has a flip effect. You can special summon one level three or lower beast monster from your deck in face down defense position. Get him, hamster. <laughs> Book of Eclipse, ultra rare. 
going to be followed by Ryuko, Light Sworn Hunter. It's just a beautiful card. Oh, nice secret rare number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Uh huh, say that one five times fast. <laughs> Dragon XYZ success. Secret rare. Oop, and another. Looks like it's got the 25th stamp. There it is. And I cannot read it, but this is, oh, this is the preparation of rights. We've seen this card a couple times. Very nice. Oop, this one's new. Primitive Planet Reichphobia. Cool. It's always nice to get some new ones. All right. We'll get our mega hamster there in a sleeve. And our preparation of rights here in a sleeve. This one's new. Anti-spell fragrance. There we go. Cool. Oh, this one too. Ghost ogre and snow rabbit. I oh, love the new cards. <laughs> Anti-spell fragrance again. This time in the ultra rare form. Here we have the ultra rare Garura Wings of Resonant Life. Emergency Teleport. Special summon one level three or lower psychic monster from your hand or deck, but banish it during the end phase of this turn. Unchained Soul of Rage. <laughs> A secret rare, my friend Pearly. <laughs> so pretty on the camera. Exo Sister Pax. Secret rare. Ooh, and the blue eyes jet dragon. Just a normal rarity here, or, you know, normal foil. But I'm up for anything blue eyes. <laughs> All right. Pressured Planet Wraith Soth. Another Unchained Soul of Rage. The Exosister Packs. Cosmic Cyclone, Ultra Rare. Ooh, this one's new, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. This cool, textured, glossy foiling for polarization. I think we have four different rare styles of polarization at this point. Oh boy, what's behind it? Oh goodness, this is beautiful. Oh, the coral dragon. Yes, it doesn't have the cross hatching that those starlight rares have, so it's not a starlight rare. No, no, those ones are impossible to read. Um, and I don't think it's, I don't know, but it's beautiful. Prismatic rare, maybe? Oof, I have no idea. There's so many different. But this is a really beautiful coral dragon. That's going to be followed by a gorgeous secret Trishula dragon of the ice barrier. Oh, so beautiful. And oh, blue eyes alternate white dragon. Classic, classic card. Not like OG Yu-Gi-Oh classic, but classic to me. <laughs> I use this one quite a bit on Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. Bring on the blue eyes. More and more makes me very happy. <laughs> Oh, beautiful cards. All right. We are down to our last two packs, which is extremely disappointing because this has been so much fun. And Sakti and I are still waiting for more of our Rarity Collection 2s to come in. I think we were told that they'd be coming in uh, late June. So here we go, the month of June. Happy Pride Month, by the way, everyone. Love Pride Month here. Raise your rainbow flag high or whatever you identify. Your flags are your banner. And we love you all, for sure. TCG fam and everyone around the world. 
All right, so that being said, let's continue this celebration here with the Rarity Collection 2. What shall we get? All right, Book of Moon to start off this pack. Not bad, not bad. Number 38, Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we'll get another rarity version of the Charge of Light of the Light Brigade. Hopefully you can kind of see it's that textured foil. Ooh, yeah, baby, pearly pretty memory. <laughs> Just an ultra rare there. Ultra rare Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. A ultra rare Psychic and Punisher. Cool. And then one of those 25th stamped Solemn Warnings. So yeah, there is a difference here. Like, okay, so obviously these are not the same. They're both not stamped. Why I think this is the quarter century rare is because it has that stamp. And it also has some of the cross hatching. Maybe you can see that a little bit where this one is just kind of hatched to diagonally. It doesn't have the crosses, like the tic-tac-toe pattern. So a little different. And then Chaos Hunter Secret Rare will be next. And IP Mascarina. That's a new one. That's cool. We were talking about card games on motorcycles. Well, there we go. There's a sick looking motorcycle. Oh no, the last pack. I'm I'm quite sad about this, actually. I already kind of mentioned that we won't be getting our next Rarity Collection 2 stuff until later this month, but I'm glad we were able to find this one out in the wild at our LGS. And we were able to bring you this video kind of as a apology for not being able to get the video out about the Lorcana Atlanta challenge. Um, we're most likely not going to be able to get that out in time before even the Chicago Atlanta challenge, or excuse me, the Chicago Lorcana challenge comes out. So I apologize for that. It's just between work and the sickness. And then, of course, I happen to be going out of town this next week. I'm leaving on Monday. So it's going to take some time but we will get it to you. I promise we will share our fond memories and let you know a little bit about that. Um, Lorcana has been really fun and of course Yu-Gi-Oh! as we are just collectors of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, these cards just incredible. This has been so much fun friends. Definitely recommend picking up the Rarity Collection too if you can find it. Uh, you're not going to be disappointed with any of these cards, especially if you are a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, as always, I'll plug our X, our Twitter. is two girls underscore underscore one up. Follow that for announcements or just keep following our YouTube here. We post pretty often in our community page and just always, always here for you guys. So let's get to it. Our last pack of the day. And we are going to start with another per, per Lily Pretty Memory. Ooh, the Gold Sarcophagus. This one is new. We haven't seen this one yet in the packs. You banish one card from your deck face up. During your second standby phase after this card's activation, add that card to your hand. Ooh, we'll have a fusion deployment. Textured slash glossy foiling there. The Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is back. Red Eyes Dragon is happy about that one. <laughs> In ultra rare form, Apollo, uh, Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess. I think we started off the packs with this one. XYZ Encore, ultra rare. Secret rare Coral Dragon, very pretty. And this is a Secret Rare Psychic and a Punisher. And we'll finish off with a Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Okay, not the most exciting pack at the end, but still pretty fun. 
we got that cool fusion deployment. It's pretty cool. Okay, now unfortunately we're out of the rarity collection packs, but that doesn't mean the fun is over yet. We still have one of these to open. We'll open it at our, to our little minifigure collection and see what we get. I'm kind of hoping for a Yugi and his weird looking face, but I would honestly be happy with any of these. <laughs> They're just so cute. We got these probably a year ago. Before we do though, we'll just kind of flip through. We'll start with these and go through the stack so you can see what we got. As always, feel free to pause the video if you want to see just in detail. I'm just doing this for those of you who may have missed the rest of the video. So cute. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to scratch any of these. They're all so cool. I swear, one of these is an alternate art. <laughs> all right. And the ones that I did sleeve here. Some of them you can't really see the detail, like this is a textured foil polarization. <laughs> textured. I love it. All right, <laughs> hopefully you could see some of that. All right, so there we go. That was our Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th anniversary rarity collection and I am stoked. That was so much fun. There was no disappointments in this entire stack of cards. And although they all deserve to be in a sleeve, I'll be working on that a little bit later after the video. <laughs> okay, so let's move our little guys in here so they can see what we get. And we're pulling out, oh my goodness, what is this? This is clearly a dark magician, but it's it's unpainted. It's just straight purple. Hmm. I don't it doesn't say anything about there being a like special version. <laughs> He's just a straight up purple dark magician. He's got no details. Well, there we have it. <laughs> we'll call him a ghost, a ghost dark magician, kind of like those ghost rares. He can join the crew here who will probably show up for another Yu-Gi-Oh video. Definitely be opening another one of these rarity collections once we get them at the end of the month because man, that was so much fun. I hope you all had a great time here just as much as I did with this video. 
And if you did, and you're interested in seeing more of our Yu-Gi-Oh! ASMRs, as well as Digimon, we also do Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, we just did Yu-Gi-Oh! But Digimon, we do One Piece, we do Lorcana, of course, as it is a big part of uh, Sock DNI when it comes to the competitive side. Um, we open Magic the Gathering, and we have an awesome set coming out. I believe it's Modern Horizons 3 will be coming out soon. Very much looking forward to that as well. Um, we also, believe it or not, we grabbed some Dragon Ball, some of the new Dragon Ball card game, and really kind of looking forward to breaking into that, so that should be a video here in the future. So if you're excited to see some of those cards, just another Bandai card game, but there's always so much fun to be had with those. So there we go. We also open Pokemon, and yeah, there's a wide variety of TCGs that we collect and play. So always, always having a blast with this and enjoying our time with you, our TCG fam. So please like, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, our future videos, and of course the video that'll come out kind of like our little vlog about our Lorcana Atlanta challenge experience. You'll be looking forward to that. We of course are almost, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. I've got goosebumps just thinking about that. Um, that's amazing, friends. 1,000 is a huge, huge milestone for YouTubers. So when we get to that point, we're going to have a fun big giveaway for all of you TCG fam to participate in. And like, we're just so excited for that. So we uh, also may be announcing some additional things. I'm, I'm going to just kind of sprinkle that out there. Uh, some additional... Um, things to our channel and what you guys can do and participate in, etc. So very much looking forward to that. Very much had a great time this evening. Like and subscribe TCG fam. And as always, we will see you again in the next one. Nick's out.